Hey folks, Truba here, finally back to talk to you about Dice Masters. Been out a little bit because, well, I got the flu. Uh, our house has been uh, a snotty coffee mess for a few weeks, but yeah, we're finally back on the mend. Uh, I'll apologize in advance if I do any coughing or sneezing or I need to grab a tissue or something. Hopefully none of that happens, but we'll, we'll see. I'm, I'm going to try to make it through. But, um, yeah, because of the flu, I had to cancel our Golden Age event a couple weeks ago, and thankfully this Sunday, the rescheduled Golden Age event will be taking place here at Four Horsemen Comics at 2 o'clock. And uh, with that uh, Golden Age event coming up, I wanted to take this opportunity to talk to you guys about what is Golden Age. So most games, like you know, Magic the Gathering, has different formats. They have the standard format, which is uh, the most recent releases, modern format, which is uh, a whole bunch of releases over the last what 15 years I think uh, basically all the white bordered cards um, then you have legacy which is everything that's ever been released with dice masters we only have two formats we have modern age and golden age modern age is everything that's been released in like the last two years uh, we believe that's going to continue to be the trend uh, we don't know for sure because we've only had one rotation so far but uh, looking at how Heroclix does it, every two years, after a set has been, able, been playable at Nationals or Worlds twice, it usually gets rotated the next year. So we're expecting here in June to see another rotation. Uh, but then there's also Golden Age. Golden Age is basically everything. It's your legacy like in Magic. Um, so why is there a Golden Age in Modern Age? It's basically to separate out power cards that have um, dominated in the past, so they're no longer in the modern age, uh, so we keep the meta fresh and constantly rotating. Um, so, let's see, I have the only six sets, only the first six sets are the ones that have currently been uh, rotated out to only playable in Golden Age. And here we have AVX, Uncanny X-Men, Justice League, Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, D and D Battle for Faerun, my baby here with with the uh, the the cobalt. Uh, I miss you, baby. And then we have Age of Ultron. Um, <clears throat> so in Golden Age, just just because there's these six sets, you can still play with everything. So if we go to what Golden Age looks at like right now, here's a, a nice clustered mess of a graphic showing everything in Dice Masters. Uh, so our golden border here encompasses Golden Age. So everything that's been released is Golden Age. Uh, so we get, you can have you know, Thor here, uh, Tomb of Annihilation, X-Men First Class with the original Uncanny X-Men. There's just you know, tons of stuff to build with and you can go crazy. Um, now we're expecting to have another rotation in the June-July time frame when that happens. This blue bar, see this blue bar represents modern. And modern starts with War of Light, uh, Amazing Spider-Man, and on after that. This is all chronological uh, in, in release order. So after June, July, we expect this blue bar, I expect this blue bar to move down to here. And then we'll, we'll lose War of Light, Amazing Spider-Man, uh, the second D, &D set, uh, Fair and Under Siege, Maybe World's Finest, maybe Civil War, and maybe uh, Ninja, the first Ninja Turtle set all go to uh, Golden Age. Now, when that happens, does that mean those cards are now completely useless and never playable again? No, absolutely not. That does not mean that whatsoever. That is why we have Golden Age events. So that's why the Sunday, Golden Age event, everything is legal. Uh, well, with two caveats, which I'll get to in a second. So, uh, and just because it's a Golden Age event does not necessarily need, mean you need any Golden Age cards. You can just bring a modern team and play in it. Now granted, your power level might be a little different and you may not do as well, because uh, there are certain cards you have to watch out for and take into account, like, um, you know, one big guy you gotta be ready for is my arch nemesis, Professor X. Uh, that global of the Pay mask, move up to two sidekick dice from your use pile to your prep area. I think it's a killer if you're not ready to use it. Um, it gives whoever takes the biggest advantage of it a huge advantage. Uh, just That's a lot of energy. You can be rolling every turn. It also helps you keep your bag thin. Uh, 
So yeah, when you're playing in Golden Age, be ready to either stop this card or be ready to uh, play with it as well as your opponent does. Um, me personally, I will never bring this card to an event. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> but um, yeah, so Professor X is one thing. Uh, two other cards that are in Golden Age that you normally have to worry about are the Half-Elf Bard, Master Lord's Alliance, sorry, trying to do this backwards, and Lantern Ring, uh, limited only by an imagination. Of course, Lantern Ring here is actually still in modern as well. Uh, but for events at the store, these two cards are going to be banned. Um, these are not legal for our event this Sunday. Uh, it, that is mostly because they are very strong cards, and we want to keep things kind of casual and relaxed. Uh, these are really hard to deal with and you have to build against them. Um, and I know most of our players are a little newer, so I yeah, I want to shy away from these for now. So if, if we eventually get to a point where you know everyone's comfortable with it and they want to bring it back, well, I'll, I'll, unban, I'll, unban, I'll unban them. So it's just uh, trying to keep things casual uh, for now. Um, that said, going back to what the people want, yeah, right now at the store we tend to do at least one Golden Age event a month. Uh, that, that is my goal every month, you know, as long as schedules allow, try to do one Golden Age event a month. Uh, if players want to do more than, what, more than one, just gotta let me know. I can schedule more of them. Uh, like our Heroclix events here at the store, we have... Uh, I'd say probably 70 to 80% of their events are Golden Age. They run Golden Age almost exclusively. Um, yeah, I tend to prefer Modern uh, for Hero Clicks and for Dice Masters because in Hero, Hero Clicks, I'm a newer player, so I don't have the old stuff, so it's easier for me to get in when it's a modern event. I don't feel like I have to worry about the old super powered figures that you know only a couple of people have that I've never seen before. Uh, and that's sort of the same thinking with Dice Masters, is trying to go with the um, newer cards so new players aren't as intimidated and don't have to worry about these old cards like, you know, Gobby, Serena, that Professor X. Um, that, that is like one thing with Professor X. I knew a lot of the times when people were learning the first play, it's like, okay, here's the basic mechanics, now you have to learn Professor X. And I don't think that's healthy for anyone. Uh, <laughs> It, but thankfully, you know, that's Golden Age. We don't have to do it. Um, but we are doing it this Sunday. And, and again, if people want it, we can do it more often. Just, you know, let me know. But, uh, yeah, that's the main thing I wanted to go over is just talking about the difference here between Golden Age and, uh, and Modern. So one more time for review. Here is everything. It is all Golden Age. You can play with all of this. My... My uh, team this Sunday, I'm actually pulling almost exclusively from Thor and uh, Tomb of Annihilation. So I'm taking cards from those two sets into a Golden Age event. Should be interesting. Uh, yeah, so you, you don't need to have Golden Age cards to play in a Golden Age event. Uh, so it just means there's more to worry about. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, that's it. Um, if there are any questions about Golden Age versus Modern Age or rotation, uh, don't hesitate to send me a message or comment here in the video. Um, you know, hopefully I'll see it. Yeah, I might get, be a little slow seeing the, the uh, comments on these videos, but I do get to them eventually. And, uh, yeah, just uh, let me know what you guys want to play. Uh, oh, and also, you know, next week I'm going to try to talk about the changes to the uh, Dice Masters rarity format going forward. That's actually a pretty big deal. That was announced during my uh, recovery while I was laying on my deathbed. So uh, I haven't had a lot of a chance to process it, but I do know it's a good thing because it generally means that I'm gonna be spending a lot less per set and uh, my wallet will be happy with that. And uh, yeah, it should also keep the, level, uh, the playing field much more level for everybody. But we'll talk about that next time. So, this Sunday, 2 o'clock, Golden Age, Four Horsemen Comics. Hope to see you guys there. And hopefully I won't be coughing or snotting on anybody. <laughs>